Cheating in a game of poker is a lot easier than it looks, and let me show you how to do it. So first we're going to take a card. So let's take this one right here, the Four of Hearts. And what we're going to do with it is we're going to set this card on top of the deck, and let me show you how to cheat with it. So let's say we're playing a game, and you had to deal four cards. So it's one, two, three, and four, of course, because it, we had the four, which means this bottom one should be the four, and we'll hopefully get... Um, that's not the four. Actually, neither of these are the four. Now, the reason of that is because the four is actually still on the top of the deck. I never dealt it. Let me show you how it works with the card face up this time. You'll deal the card, but you actually never deal the card. This time you deal the four kings. So every time this card never leaves, that is called a second deal. Now for the tutorial, and I'm going to leave the ace of spades right here on the top of the deck so that you can see it. Now let's get into this second deal. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking this bottom left corner and putting it into this pad of your hand right here. Then you're going to come over with your thumb on top, index finger on the short edge, and the other three fingers along the long edge. Next, you're gonna put a lot of pressure on with these four fingers, and then you're gonna push over the card while making sure that this corner is still pressed into this part of your hand. It should look something like this. As you can see, you can get a little bit of this top right corner, but that's about it. If you're gonna over-exaggerate it, it would then look like this. The goal is then to be able to move it off to the side, come over as if you're going to be grabbing the top card, Take your thumb, place it on this corner, and drag that out instead. To help with the angles a little bit, bring your hand up as you're coming to deal it. So instead of just dealing it sideways, come up to deal it. Next, you also have to make sure that your thumb is coming back to cover it up straight away. Because after you deal, you don't want to leave this card out jogged. So it should come over as you're grabbing it, and then as soon as you have contact and start pulling, your left thumb should start pulling it back. So in real time, it should look like this. And with the card face down, it should look like that. Another thing that can help is getting borderless cards. Usually cards have a white border around the outside of them. These, the color goes all the way to the outside, which means I don't really have to come up as high to be able to do this move. Usually I just can sit here and do it right here instead, because honestly, I can even go like this and it still looks pretty good. Lastly, make sure to practice dealing both normally and with the second deal, try to make them both look the same. Because if I want to deal myself the ace of spades, but I'm dealing the second deal one way, and I deal my top deal another way, that's now going to look really weird. As soon as a spectator gets suspicious of something happening, in their head it already did. And for those of us who like to have a little bit of extra fun at the poker table, we'll never be able to deal our cards again. So practice going second and then top, and then second and then top, second, top. Eventually when you can get those two looking the same, you are set. And there's a lot of magic tricks that you can use the second deal on. And if you want to see my entire playlist of magic tricks that I've taught here on the channel, you can check it out right up there. Make sure to subscribe and check out the description below for the decks of cards that I used for 10% off. Comment below which move you want to see next, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. CPM, signing off.